today we're going to be working with addition and subtraction and we're going to be working with these same models like we did yesterday. So let's see what Professor Berger is going to be teaching us about today. try to write a math question together, a math story question together, because the truth is, that I don't think was one of them. Well, boy, that would be really fun. So let's do it together? Yeah, let's okay. do it. So let's write our own story question using just this model. And so All you can right. see in this model, we see that we have this shape right here giving us a five, representing uh -huh. five, and this little one representing three, uh -huh. and all together, five and three together, we see eight. Okay. So, so remember... These are our two parts that we add or join together to make the whole. So five and three are the two parts that make eight. So now they're gonna think of a story problem using the model. Pay close attention because you're gonna be asked to do this next. Now we have to think of a story that we can make. So I'll tell you about my friend Jill, okay? All right, let's see. Because Jill has a bunch of stickers. In fact, she has eight stickers. Okay. And so now we can think about a story where we could think, what if she gave five stickers away? Oh. So she likes to share. So here we start off with eight stickers, and here oh. they are, represented by these connecting cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now let's suppose that she actually gave five away to a friend. So if she gives five away, so there's the five she gives away. Uh -huh. Then we could think about the question of how many is left. Right. Now, if we wanted to write that, we could actually write it this way. We could say she started off with eight. Mm -hmm. And now she gave five away, so that means... Oh, she subtracted them. That's exactly right, I Joey. Did, yeah. You are so brilliant. And now the answer would be what remains. And what remains, we can see right here, is... It's the three. Exactly. So these three, in fact, remain. That's what we're left over. Oh, and that's how it's a story. I see, I see. And now we can even check our answer by saying, what if we took the five she had, and we now add back the three that she was left with at the end, right. so the five she gave away plus the three, and five plus three is eight, and that's what she started with. So we could even check our answer. Well, it's like telling the story in a different way. It's exactly right, Joey. Oh, and yeah. so there, we wrote a story together. I... I'll go back a little bit. So did you notice how he just took the numbers and he came up with a problem situation saying that a little girl has eight stickers, she gave away five, and now, how many does she have left? Three. Is that the only story that he could have told? No, you can tell any kind of story that you'd like. And so on the next slide, you're going to see a problem or a, a model similar to this, and you're going to have to think of your own story problem. Wait, and so there, we wrote a story together. I really like that. Hey, you know what we should now try to do? What? We should try to make a story about pilot does he collect stickers? Well, maybe he has eight spaceships. <laughs> Have fun thinking about math. We'll see you soon.